Do you think he knew he hit it and just kept on getting up? Or do you think he was just clueless and hit the... Hey, it's Jason. So I'm here at the building and I keep this old D1 parked out here mainly for parts and stuff. And these trucks come around and thousands upon thousands of trucks have came around. And this is the first time a truck has hit the D1. It, uh, they clipped it back, made it bounce, bent the bumper down, crushed the hit, the tail light. Um, I do have a video of the truck, but it's really hard because it's a leased trailer. So I emailed Premier um, Leasing, who leases the trailers, just to see if they have any interest of, you know, saying sorry at least. You know, it's kind of disappointing because the guy hit it and he just kept driving. Um, maybe he didn't even notice. I don't drive a semi, but if I hit a 5,000 pound D1 and made it bounce, I would think I would, uh, would know. Let's take a look at the damage. So it's parked on the corner, which is the last parking spot I have. He hit it so hard when it bounced it, it like jiggered the headlights and everything, which are already loose. But basically this is where he clipped it, coming around the corner. And you can see the, um, the damage that was done to it. You know, and actually at one point, somebody hit this truck and hit the side of the building. So I guess it's good that people can't really get that close to it anymore. But that's the damage to the old D1. Disappointing. It's at least a thousand bucks worth of damage. But um, at least it's not body work. It's just the bumper at this point. Maybe they'll say sorry. just keep on driving and I'm just gonna give this guy the benefit of the doubt but let's take a look at the video and you tell me do you think he knew he hit it and just kept on getting up or do you think he was just clueless and hit the vehicle thanks for tuning in be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel it means a lot to me